This is Mystic Mech. Mystic Mech is a fortune teller. She's made almost entirely from Meccano parts. She can read your palm, tell your fortune, if first you cross her palm with silver. Letter M. The future is M for Meccano. Mystic Meg is meditating. She controls her breathing. Below the table, a 32-step sequencer switches on some of Mystic Mech's 13 motors. The sequencer is simply a giant rotary switch, which advances when each motor has performed its task. The sequencer can also command a polarity reversal of the electrical supply to the motors for changing direction. This is done by a motor operating a pair of French Meccano reversing switches. The second switch unit simply acts as a pair of limit switches for the actuating motor. Paper clips are used for the connections, so it's easy to reconfigure. This module is a standalone device, which can be used for almost any other robot. Also under the table, this drum module fits in front of the sequencer. The drum controls the end position of Mystic Mech's left hand when she chooses a letter. A rack and pinion operates a probe to the face of the drum, where 32 different stops are possible. Some of the letters of the alphabet are repeated. The rack and pinion motor also swings Mystic Mech's arm to the required letter. How are the letters changed? At the end of every performance, the drum is advanced by a ratchet system. The bolts are spaced to give one, six or seven increments to the drum. In this way, a 48 letter sequence will be given before any repetition. And that takes over an hour. Limit switches control each of the robotic motors. This one controls the right arm. A simple winch lifts the arm. Another motor swings it across. Instead of a counterweight, 
a spring system is used to counterbalance the weight of the arm. It's adjustable from this worm, a bit like a guitar string. Looking in through the back of Mystic Mech's head, we can see there's a switch which lights up her eyes when her eyelids are opened. Looking inside the back of Mystic Mech's head again, there's a cam system that opens and closes her mouth. The cams work in forward and reverse whenever the sequencer motor runs, so there's always something happening between the other jobs that the motors do on Mystic Mech's body. Below the back of the neck, three motors operate the eyelids, head tilt and head turn here. The motors all sit below a roller bearing with linkages passing up through it. Here's the coin box. Any coin, large or small, will work Mystic Mech. If this rod drops down, the sequencer motor will start. It can't drop down while it's being held back by this piece here. When a coin falls in, it's released. Even a small coin will release the rod. Coins are deflected to a tray at the back. Alternatively, the coin path can be changed by moving this hinged plate. Now the coin gets returned. When the hinged plate is moved, an indicator pops out on the front of the machine. Let's see it all again. Take a coin, put it in the slot, sequencer starts, Mech opens her eyes and looks up. She looks left. She looks back. She looks right and back again. Now she lifts her hand and moves it across to read my palm. She lifts her hand away. Now she chooses a letter. Puts her other hand down. Puts her head down. Closes her eyes. Moves her hand back. The drum advances to select another letter.